What's good, Josh? Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Botchamania episode 470. Y'all know I love me some Botchamania. So had to check out the latest episode. WrestleMania is right around the corner, so it's always cool when Botchamania drops uh, uh, a uh, a video right before WrestleMania, man. So looking forward to seeing what's in this episode. Appreciate all the love and support, and let's get right into this one. Hey, this is official SPO. <clears throat> Find me across all social media platforms at official SPO502. You're watching Botchamania, and I literally am the table. Oh, a, a, a skull did that to that chair, <laughs> for the record. He's a fuckery. Sure, let's put this here. That feels. Uh, yeah. Um, so you want to be helpful. Oh, boy. Uh, this is not going to end well. I'm okay with it. Are you serious this right now? He's, to see oh, he's using the ref as part of the table. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Yo. He's going to have to count his own fall. Not even a count there. He can't make that up. Botchamania, uh, what's that? Four, is that 484? Has the best ending? What? <laughs> Wait, how? That's four, I think that says, is it 484 or 434? It looks like we haven't got to 484, have we? <laughs> what? Fuck everybody. I'm here for Botchamania 470. Love it. Love it. And Cody now. Looked like he was going to go for crossroads, and he's distracted again. See you at the no. <laughs> he wasn't. Oh, wow. <laughs> it actually hit him. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen this one. Oh, I've seen this one. Oh, I didn't know they she botched at the beginning. Because I know they there's a, yeah, there's a botch on the ropes. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Coming up this May on pay per view. All right, I'm the world champion. Hmm, that's odd. Usually the technical issues get off at Pamp Page. Wow, I was wondering what was going on there. I thought that was uh, something on my end. <laughs> No tag. Obama. I want to thank our fans for joining us around the world, especially our fans in France. As you can see, we've done the ring ropes up just for you. Yeah, I love France. I was just at it uh, last weekend. Oh, for France. Wow. You, you do spend your money. I, that's <laughs> oh, my God. I thought that was. I thought that was a myth. Man, you've been sitting on that, huh? Explosive combination. <laughs> my God, so that Billy Gunn was on the road a lot. You know, he wasn't around the house much. I think I think Austin and Colton were right. He wasn't around a lot. I was on the road with him. He wasn't around. Please. He wasn't. Bro, the commentary on a, they just, I, I, I literally think they don't give two Fs, bro. They literally just be talking about whatever. Literally, absolutely whatever comes to their mind. All right. Like Especially on Rampage. It's like, it's like work alone out here. I'm doing a podcast by myself. Oh, yeah, I've been on the phone with you. Bro, Taz just don't care. <laughs> 
Joey Stark and GG Dolan, the winner, will join those two in that ladder match for the NXT Women's Championship. And book, it's well documented. You have a strong disdain for ladder matches. You know, not that I don't like ladder matches, Vic, just not my cup of tea. So many have, have made their mark. I'm talking about made history, a la Razor Ramon, one, two, three kids. They're still talking about that ladder match. So, so this history-making moment. Who will advance? <laughs> to NXT Women's Championship ladder match. I think in the excitement book, you got caught up. I think you were trying to talk about Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels in that history-making ladder match oh, at WrestleMania 10. I was talking about Razor Ramon and the one hey, two, three, three. That's what I, was, I think that's what I was talking about. I was trying, and then <laughs> he said, nope. Razor Ramon and the one, two, three kid. <laughs> All right, bartenders, toss your drunks. Oh. oh! And the winner, Mo. Raquel's got to turn around. Here comes Liv. That Logan looked painful. Now. Code red. Code breaker. And here's the elimination. Three weeks later. The break things up, and now Liv Morgan into play with a code red. Code red. Code breaker. Code breaker. Code red. Code, code breaker. breaker. <laughs> I'm in way over my head. Is that a shake weight? You set up that shake weight. Oh no. In between the top and bottom rope. Oh, counters it. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Edge in his creepiness. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they they are running with this edge situation. The edge head. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bro, they are really running with this. <laughs> the meme from this is great. You have no idea what goes inside hell itself. You have no idea what goes through your soul when that steel door slams shut behind you. Owens with a headbutt. Solo is teetering, hanging on. To the top rope. Two superstars that never give an inch. This is crazy spot. Crazy bump. Oh my god. Oh. Split apart by the tables. <laughs> Need a new desk. <laughs> oh, here you caught him flush with that kick straight to the face. Slams him down and there he ain't. We've seen him do this before. There he is. The rebound splash. Oh, on the ropes. goes for the pin. The two count. He said, Please don't sue. He said, please don't sue. <laughs> don't sue me. <laughs> the vicinity of the ring. Remember, fun is the key, but keep seated at all times or you may die. They, yeah, they're pretty close to the ring, too. <laughs> Purple people eater. That's the old uh, Minnesota Vikings. Could be. That's an old song I remember. Yeah, you Jack Swagger with a hat. It's like Elvis. Don't touch his hat. There goes another lawsuit. L.A. Knight, who firmly believes that it will not be WrestleMania going Hollywood if L.A. Knight is involved. Well, listen, get this, Cole. Here's the deal. L.A. Knight has the face of a champion. He has the body of a champion. He has the shoes of a champion. <laughs> you see these shoes on my feet here? Go ahead and get down and get them. These right here are okay. the shoes of a champion. Okay. This kid right here. Like the ones. Shoes of a champion. So I got to tell you. 
<laughs> Wait, did I say shoes of a champion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking love LA Knight, bro. I hope he gets a major, major push this year. Maybe even win Money in the Bank. I would love for it. Ah, uh, bro. I, he, he oozes charisma. <laughs> he just does, dog. They, oh, no. It hit the lights. I'm trying to figure out what he was about to throw. Oh. That's awkward. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. Did, he did it again. Bro, you have all that space. Just stop throwing it high. There we go. Oh. Oh, he... Uh, what, 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 what is going on here? What am I... I don't know what I just watched. Such a fool. Resident Have Evil 4 remake. You talk too much. <laughs> I said you talk too much. Oh boy, you never shut up. What the hell? The double jump, the nose dive. There it is. That's his move. One. Oh, you heard the kick out. Colton Gunn. Hey, did you see uh, that you made Botchamania last week? Oh no, my God, did I really? Yep. <laughs> We are just as you can see the countdown. Yeah, we are, camera's glitching out. Uh, less than well, minutes away. OBS glitching out. More than 15 minutes away. <laughs> How do I count that? <laughs> we're less than, we are more than 15 minutes into this broadcast. We are less than 45. I don't know why he's doing that, y'all. Wow. Uh, who's the Botchamania kid? Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, yeah. Matthew's a good kid, as long as he takes a shower. I knew you were going to make reference to that. <laughs> That's just a European thing. I get it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you saying European people smell? Yes. <laughs> Murder in the house. Oh, it's in life. Still in this. Still in this. I don't know how true that is, y'all, man. Hopefully, I'm sure <laughs> all my European subscribers out there, I'm sure y'all take great baths. All right, I'm back. Hopefully, the glitching tones down. I'm trying to finish this video, y'all. <laughs> Still in this. Where's Brooks? Going up top. Looking for Are they at things. a bar? Up top. The local pub? Something wrong. What am I watching? What type of match is this? Chandelier, no more. You're gonna pay for it. I mean, literally. You will literally pay for it. The budget just oh. went higher. What? You have Captain Diomedy. Bro, they're literally having a match in a bar, a pub. An intergender match at that. Equal rights, equal fights, I guess, everywhere, right? Please. Enjoy the mercy of death, lunatic. Oh! That one is broken. Like a stem. This will be messy. Miserable thing. It is the blade. Slicey, slicey. That is inevitable. <laughs> Welcome to the Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. It's uh maybe my favorite WrestleMania memory as a kid. And we get this season sort of kicked off after the rumble. We start putting all their hype. I love his trophy case. Live, Friday night, this, prime time. Main the, all the titles he have you know, like in that, in that the back behind him. I just love it. It looks so fucking dope. I ain't gonna lie to you. Special on NBC. The main event. There you go. Savage is thrown through the ropes and he lands on Miss Elizabeth. And Hogan mm -hmm. is going to carry her to the back, mm -hmm. the first aid room for medical attention, and and we of course have the uh, famous mm -hmm. moment where Hogan is by Liz's side on the gurney, and he's got these uh, Oscar-worthy acting skills, if you will. Of course, begging and pleading for Liz to wake up and and be okay. He's also asking someone off camera. Oh, thank God, I was tis on. Thank God. Oh. Oh, because he thinks they're still in a commercial but this is all of course shown live on oh, the air oh wow and vince on commentary is going to try to quickly start talking to try to cover it up 
Are you pulling your hair out when all this is happening? Is this wow. the stress and pressure of live TV in prime time? Yes. Because you know, <laughs> on top of not keeping Hulk informed of, hey, man, you know, we're coming back from commercial in so many seconds and, and be working. You know, you had uh, sending beefcake in too soon to, <laughs> to go in and get Savage off of Hulk. And then, well, I know what we'll do. We'll just take his shirt off of him. So you'll forget about that guy that was in a shirt five seconds ago. <laughs> Even looking at all the live television we've done su- since then, possibly one of the sloppiest live productions that we ever did. Damn. First of all, live television, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Ever. <laughs> That's um, usually not the case. It's something usually always goes wrong. <laughs> I never noticed that. (laughs) Bro, the fact that someone caught all of that. (laughs) Okay, for my 307th book. Uh, this couple oh, is attacked no. by, uh, uh, a lamp monster. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're not even trying anymore, are you? <laughs> when can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> Love that jacket. Story. What happened? Jesus, that stuff got right on top of you, didn't it? <laughs> Look at your face. You're about to explode. <laughs> Round the bend. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Well, don't do it, Carmen. Well, I'm warning you. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm getting pretty sick of him calling. <laughs> 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 well, I guess my first wish is to get rid of the Blackpool Combat Club. Uh, he's got a board with a nail in it. Instead, he got a board with a nail in it. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would see the day where these three women had Jamie Hader and Britt Baker's back, Tony. Hey, what is that? It's an inanimate carbon rod. <laughs> What the hell? (laughs) This is funny. Paul Heyman throwing those sissy punches were great. That may be the dumbest thing Paul Heyman's ever done in his career. You effed up. Say that I ever got a smartphone, which I won't, then somebody would hire somebody to follow me around that looked like me. And when I would drop my phone or leave it somewhere, then that lookalike would pick it up and take a picture of his face and unlock my and take over my identity. What? I'll tell you what, if someone like you, some. Oh, told me the world I fell for it. I fell for it. <laughs> I gave you one of my new day members. I miss him. Oh. I do miss Biggie. Yup. <laughs> <laughs>
I do miss Biggie, man. I don't know if he'll be able to come back to wrestling. What do you think? Maybe I'm just afraid of the big chair. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> the giant chair! To lecture me about honor, you are not worthy to say his name. And he appears, I believe in Joe Hendry. What? Well, we made love. Whenever he, you know, when he came, he would just scream out. <laughs> Whoa, what was that, Triple H? That's all. Just <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Triple H? Wow. Hey, yo! <laughs> Dominic. Oh, this was such a great segment. Shut up, Mom! <laughs> you know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Small Joe, and you can see that Small statement Joe. is not true. <laughs> see, normally if you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a 50 50 chance of winning. I love but it. I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. <laughs> Who is Clever Lang? Oh, I love Clever this. Lang? Love this meme. character in Rocky Three. Hello. Not the boxing movies. The boxing, but wait, uh, you've never seen not, Rocky. She's not serious. You've never seen Rocky. Come on, you know. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum Bam, bam. Bam, I'm not gonna remember a movie I've never seen just because you're singing a song I don't know. You don't know Samuel L. Jackson. You don't know Rocky. You are literally pop culture illiterate. <laughs> oh man. I've shown my chose at a restaurant once. We'd accidentally been given his table. Apparently he was fond of the restaurant and at a specific table he liked. And the management had messed up and gotten their days wrong. It was Tuesday and they thought he was coming on Thursday or something like that. Anyway, the manager completely embarrassed this as a pretty nice restaurant comes by and says, I'm so sorry, but we'd like to move you to another table. If you could be troubled, we'll gladly compensate you for the cost of the meal. And any other meal you'd like while you're in town, my sister and cousin were both like, yeah, that's cool. And I kind of played the issue a bit. I'm sorry, I uh, just Why don't does understand. Why Tony face look We've like been that? Here for 15 minutes, we just ordered. Why don't we finish our meal here? And out of nowhere, <laughs> Sean Michael shows up next to the manager and says, "Oh, these guys can finish. We'll be at the bar. I got some time." And I, being a big fan, said, "Oh, what? Well, I had no idea. Please feel free." Sean was grateful, shook my hand, and said, "Thanks." And gave me a card with his number on it and told me to give him a call later. After working up the nerve, I gave him a call that night. And to make a long story short, we had a glorious 11-month love affair man on man. Our bodies intertwined as one. What? And from the beauty of Morocco to the French Riviera to the snorkeling in the Galapagos. Sean Michaels and I made glorious gay love to each other on six of... Instagram post deleted. And then they had to the kick in the heel. I, 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 no. Between the 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 Hank Hill AI voice and then Tony Khan's facial expressions, like he's just he's just you know you know hopped on something. Like it's just he's just I, I don't know what to say. It don't make it better. Tony got the wide eyes. It's just like he snorted some G fuel or something. I don't know. But this is crazy. This is that's why I love Botchamania, man. They <laughs> they never miss with the videos. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite part from this video. But I appreciate all the love and support. You guys are showing on the channel Road 250 k and I am still your undisputed YouTube person champion of the world and your intercourse world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.